Welcome back. Today we have the new Motive Trident Horizon. If you like what we do, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe and check us out on Patreon. First impressions, not sure what others see, but for me, the standout characteristic for the Trident Horizon is versatility. Okay, let's jump in. I had no preconceptions going into this test. I still like the OG Trident core, but it looks like Motive has decided to move to the Sidewinder for the Trident lineup, which ultimately is a logical choice. The OG core was a pretty strong asymmetric, I, I think competing directly with the top line jackals at times. And this allows the jackal to sit clearly at the top of the lineup with the tridents being a clear step down. I'll ask for forgiveness on form up front as I was having some pretty bad back pain which was affecting my ability to post shots. Anyway, at first, as I usually do, I work direct. I was surprised that the ball worked immediately from there. Actually, same place I started with the purple tank. Uh, with the Horizon, I really felt like I can park right up 12 and have tons of room. Honestly, I would say anywhere from 10 to 14 at the Arrows was a breeze. The ball, you know, the ball gets down the lane relatively easily compared to, say, a Forge Flare, which is like, kind of red at my feet. But it's not late like a Polish Ball, so you, you see it read and just boom through the pins. And I think the factory finish at 4000 grit LSS is very smart as bowlers will be able to use it straight away without significant surface adjustments. And you'll see a couple shots as I get into the third arrow that labor, but that's more a function of the walled house shot pattern. And, and what you'll see is that I immediately figured out I could be a little more finesse with the shot and get it to turn over. Um, I like that the ball has some surface, like I said, which adds control while still very capable of generating a booming motion. And you get a medium heavy roll of medium strength, medium RG ASIM. So I came back to the horizon after the purple tank test to see how the ball fares after urethane has supposedly destroyed the pattern. And it was easier to play direct, uh, but the horizon still got down lane. Uh, you could see a touch of softening of the down lane response, but the core still wanted to turn over. The Trident Horizon just felt like it blended whatever mess was created by the urethane and it just wants to do its thing, which is pretty comforting and comfortable. I enjoyed having that kind of shape where I didn't have the biggest piece that was going to fight the fronts to do something down lane. And here's a look with the Trident Horizon two-handed and I was, I have to say, in a lot of pain and was struggling to throw the ball consistently. But despite this, I thought it was worthwhile to show because of how good the ball looked. I struck a lot despite throwing the ball awfully. It wasn't very difficult to get it down lane, which I can struggle with using big pieces two-handed. It was nice and smooth while still providing strong enough back end. I'm not you know, big on lots of color typically, but I really like watching this ball go down lane. And this ball again demonstrated its versatility two-handed, just like it did one-handed for me. I can use different break points, different angles. I had forgiveness left and right, crap releases, good releases. It just seemed to do the job. So final thoughts, uh, the Triton Horizon is a strong release in my mind from Motive. Uh, I, its versatility is going to allow it to probably make a lot of uh, bags. In terms of Arsenal category, this is an interesting one. I think this ball can be a bit of a chameleon. I, I like it for me in the mid-defined category from my game on tougher shots. And I may put something a little cleaner there on a walled house shot um, that'll be a little snappier. And that means it could also fit in a strong control for someone on the higher end of tweener and maybe mid control for the lower end of tweener um, and if that doesn't say versatility I'm not sure what does.